What's going on? It's the uh, 19th of January, 2021. It's probably one of... I did do a video about it. It, um, it crashed. My computer crashed last week. So um, this is probably the first video of um, the new year. Happy new year, everybody. Um, I've been setting up a new account, so haven't really been trading so let's uh let's dive into it and see what's been happening um for the first couple of weeks of of january um starting with euro euro after uh breaking out of 120 had uh, this big breakout and um a nice follow through towards the end of uh 2020 but at the start of this year we've um we started to retrace uh, and last week we closed below this um this kind of like consolidation range between 122.15 and 121.35 um it dipped below it on um on last wednesday and then thursday uh close uh friday close close below sorry um now it looks like we might see a test of this 120 handle uh this 121.35 will be the uh, first point of resistance should we get should we go higher to, to test that area um, uh, before we uh, might see it pulled back uh, to this 120 which is also this um, excuse me it's also um, a trend line on the euro that was put back in um, May uh, we tested it in November and it also coincides with this uh, 120 handle. Um, should we get a pullback to here? So all eyes on that. Below that, there's a, there is this kind of like double top area which uh, which we broke through, uh, came back, tested just before we uh, we had the breakout of 120. So uh, that kind of coincides uh, sitting just above 119. So depending on how good of a test we have of um, of 120. Uh, this is going to be the first important level for for this pair, so keep your eye on that. Gy, uh, uh, gu, sorry, cable, um, extremely choppy throughout December uh, when these Brexit talks were coming to an end. Um, this one thirty five, one thirty four eighty uh, level has acted as resistance and also. Um, support a few times through the choppiness and then um once in the new year's after this uh support so at the moment we're just consolidating between that and the uh, big round number 1370 so um i'm neutral until we decide to break out from there uh keep your should we get a close above this keep your eye on 138 uh which is also this kind of um this trend line which is been acting as uh, as resistance all throughout um all since october basically so keep your eye on that and then the support trend line um everybody should have marked up here uh, which has been in place since may so extremely choppy with a pound could go anywhere i don't really like the look of it on um, on daily but on one hour it hasn't been too bad to trade um UY, um, again, similar to GU, has been ex extremely uh, choppy throughout um, the second half of last year, um, well, since summer 2020, really. Um, but we have stayed inside this kind of trend channel wedge um, that has been res respected many times. Um, and last... Uh, since the start of this month, we had this huge reaction when we tested the support area. Um, we rose up over um, 150 pips in a um, in a couple of days, and now we're just sitting. We're just currently trading below um, the resistance of this wedge. Now, be aware that this wedge could be something like that now, um, which usually happens once uh, once big level levels like this get a bit choppy. Um, Traders might move their stops to different areas or um, or adjust their positions to suit the new pattern. Um, so it could be somewhat, something like that. Um, I'll keep this marked up at the moment. Um, excuse me. 
like it is now. Uh, maybe just add another trend line just to keep as a reminder that these areas they can uh, they can change, especially if we've been inside this um, this wedge for so long. Um, but one o four is uh, obviously a big level. You can see here it's, uh, it's been support and resistance a few times in the past. And we're currently trading there at the moment. So um, this trend line will be the resistance and it should be get above that. Look at this 104.50 area um, might play a part. Uh, should we close above this kind of double top here, then I think this uh, wedge is then failed and we might see a um, an extended run higher finally after being stuck inside this uh this consolidation for so long um below that should we rotate lower and um and take away this rally then it looks certain to break out towards the uh, low side should we close below this one uh, 102.50 um area then 101 comes into play that was the low back in um well let's have a look yeah the low of 2020 GY, it's been choppy like um, like cable. This uh, 140.35 area uh, has been important. You can see it's acted as resi resistance. We failed to close above it a few times, um, then acted as support, resistance again, and once again, support, and um, support once again yesterday. So this trend line could be um, extended a bit further because it's important. But since since touching that, we've um, we've rallied a bit higher. Um, this September first high still has yet to be tested. Truly, since we broke this um, resistance area, uh, we might see a test of it now. Once um, now that previous resistance acted su support once again. Uh, so keep your eye on one forty two seventy one, which also coincides with this decade long. Um, trend line you see might be on the lens decade long it's not decade long a bit rusty sorry um trend line since 2018 yeah yeah early 2018 so 142.71 being the uh the resistance area here uh should be close above that then check these big round numbers 144 146 145 um that have played their role 148 being the uh the target i imagine should we uh close above this trend line e y um i talked about this pair uh towards the end or throughout december in this excuse me in this kind of crappy range um this was the false breakout and then we continued to sell sell lower we've had another break of the low end of the range but it looks like we're going to close well we're currently trading back inside that range and we could close above it a bit early on the day to say that but we had a big rally overnight on um euro yen um so expect this could be a false breakout and uh, there may be some momentum here to come and uh, test the upside of this range 127 handle uh, once again um, after a huge uh, consolidation area like this um, I imagine breakout traders are kind of licking their lips um, to see which way we're going to break out and you can see here that this 125 which was uh, resistance back in October uh, November and um, and we broke out in December um, was yet to be uh, tested until yesterday. So uh, at the moment, we've seen this huge support from uh, 125. Uh, let's see where we close the day. Um, we, uh, we should expect this um, low end of the range, 125.71, should play a part after this uh, huge rally here. We might touch that before um, extending higher. So a um, couple of levels there for you to mark up on EJ. Um, Aussie dollar 
is uh, consolidating at the moment after a big rally in um, 2020. Um, slight consolidation here for a couple of a couple of months, um, and then we continued higher. Uh, this is if should the second leg be as big as the first, we still got a long way to go. Um, a 79 being a uh, target or um, a place where the bulls might, uh, the bears might draw a line and want to get back in uh, at the moment. 77, 16 is holding four as a, a support. Um, should we close above that, then I like a retest of um, this September first high, uh, 74, which has been um, important for so many of these pairs. Uh, if you check, if you go through and check where the uh, September the first, uh, that was the top for many of these pairs, GU, um, uh, GJ, EU, EY, all those is very important. So um, I like the look of this 74, failing that 75, uh, which acted as support before we had this other uh, leg higher. Dollar CAD started the year off slow, a bit consolidation um, after a big sell off um, last year. Uh, as you can see, now we're trading around 126. Uh, this, I mentioned this 129.50 area has been um, a support, uh, important support. We bounced here in November. And um, we had a retest in December and, and, and continued the sell off there. Um, this 127.82 um, area looks to be important and also keep an eye on this, um, this trend line, which has been respected um, many times, um, even after this uh, false breakout higher. Um, it's kind of kept in, kept the uh, euro, uh, the dollar CAD in check. So, um, be interested to see what happens if we uh, test that area. But should we close above that, this 129.50 is going to be um, a big level for the um, bears to hold. Uh, close above that, it gets a bit messy because this uh, big round number and psychological level, um, 130 just above. So um, a few areas here where the bears can step in. So um, could get a bit messy for the next couple of weeks uh, unless we continue downwards because there's plenty of room to go in CAD. I'll just show you the weekly. Yeah, a huge double top here, big reaction, um, lovely sell off, and there's plenty of room to go before we uh, we see some of these lows around 122, 123, um, and 124. So, um, if this trend uh, continues uh, continues downwards and the reaction uh, of this d double top continues to be strong, then 120 is on the cards for me um, within the, the first half of this year, I expect. Um, gold. Gold's um, been pretty interesting technically. Uh, I did have this uh, trend channel marked up but um, the pattern seems to be different now it's something something more like that I would imagine but also um, this trend line uh, which is directly through the uh, channel uh, is also being respected a number of times uh, we had this false breakout here. Uh, it was respected to the downside again uh, before we broke through, acted as support, and now you can see it's, um, it's keeping gold uh, above this 1800 level. Um, so let's see where we, where we end up. 1863 is the resistance. You can see this kind of false breakout here yesterday. Um, so I expect this 1863 to be te uh, tested in the coming days. Um, and should be close above that. There's some fresh air um, back up towards the upside of this range and also this um, important um, horizontal line in 1931. So, um, yeah, gold looking like this big consolidation is ready to be broken out. And um, we've had some big swings um, in the last couple of months. So, um, if this 1817 level holds, and I expect that uh, we break this trend channel and continue this um, this uh, 
this uh, rally um, in in this rally since uh, excuse me <laughs> this rally in 2020 to continue in 2021. There we go. That's a mouthful. Um, FTSE I haven't seen this chart in a while not in daily so let's just have a quick gander okay 66 maybe yes this psychological level 66 seems to be important um, we broke through it early on in the year um, and we are starting to rotate lower um, and perhaps we're going to get a, um, a test of that. Seem to have test um, these resistance already. Not sure if that will be strong enough to hold. Um, but I keep an eye on this 6,600 uh, 6, level. Uh, should we close above uh, below that then uh, this double top here? Six four six four, that acted as support, um, and then this six three hundred level, uh, which was resistance all throughout um, twenty twenty, and then acted as support a number of times, and even um, in December. Um, but I like the look of this pair. It looks like it's going higher, so I expect the balls to be waiting around this um, this previous resistance area before we get the next um, next leg higher. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's all. I hope there was um, something in there for you, and um, good luck with your trading today. Thanks, bye.